Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to evaluate different methods of contraception. You should then be able to explain why issues around contraception cannot be answered by science alone. In the last video we looked at how hormones control the menstrual cycle. In this video we're looking at the different ways to prevent fertilization. Scientists call this contraception. Now, a very common method of contraception is to use oral contraceptives, such as the pill. These contain hormones which prevent the body from producing the hormone FSH. As we saw in the last video, FSH causes an egg to mature. So if a woman takes a contraceptive pill, then this prevents any eggs from maturing. One advantage of the contraceptive pill is that it's highly effective if it's taken correctly. However, a disadvantage is that it must be taken every day. If a woman forgets to take it, then there's a risk of pregnancy. Certain contraceptive pills also have a risk of side effects. These include an increased risk of breast cancer or blood clots. However, these risks are small. Another hormonal form of contraception is to use an implant, a skin patch or an injection. These contain progesterone. The progesterone stops eggs from maturing or being released. Now the advantage of these is that they're more convenient than taking a daily pill. For example, the implant lasts for three years, the contraceptive injection lasts around 13 weeks, and the patch lasts around one week. However, just like the pill, these hormonal forms of contraception can have side effects. Now there's also one other disadvantage of both the pill and other hormonal forms of contraception. None of these protect against sexually transmitted infections or STIs, for example HIV. Okay, another form of contraception is to use a barrier method. These include a condom or a diaphragm. These prevent the sperm from reaching an egg. Barrier methods are an effective form of contraception if they're used correctly. One of the advantages of barrier methods is that because they don't use hormones, they don't have side effects. Condoms can also reduce the risk of STIs. However, one disadvantage of condoms is that they can break or slip off. Both condoms and a diaphragm are more effective if they're used with a spermicide gel. Spermicides kill or disable sperm, and they reduce the chances of fertilization. Many women use an intrauterine device, or IUD. This is sometimes called the coil. These can prevent an embryo from implanting. Some coils also release hormones to reduce the chances of fertilization. An IUD is highly effective and can prevent pregnancy for up to 10 years. IUDs also have very few side effects. However, an IUD does not protect against sexually transmitted infections. Okay, now some people choose surgical forms of contraception and this is called sterilization. In the case of women, this prevents the egg from reaching the uterus, and in the case of men, this prevents the sperm from leaving the penis. Both forms of sterilization are highly effective, however, they're very difficult to reverse, so a person has to be certain that they'll never want children before going ahead, and surgical forms of contraception do not protect against STIs. Okay, the final form of contraception is abstaining from sexual intercourse during the time after ovulation. This is called a natural form of contraception. The problem here is that it's very hard to tell when a woman has ovulated, so this makes natural forms of contraception difficult. And again, this method of contraception does not protect against STIs. Okay, now many people have strong opinions on contraception. For example, the Catholic Church teaches that all contraception is unethical, apart from natural methods. Other people believe that it's a person's right to choose whichever form of contraception is best for them. And many people point out that using condoms reduces the risk of sexually transmitted infections. So ultimately, the issues around contraception cannot be answered by science alone. Remember, you'll find plenty of questions on contraception in my Vision workbook. And you can get that by clicking on the link above.